1980 Department of Land Management. And then the last slide, I think. Now we're going to get to the village names. So before we get there, I would like to uh, uh, give Senator Taitagui, who's very interested in this topic, the opportunity to say something if she would like. Senator? Thank you. I think I'm pretty loud. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Can you hear TV? <laughs> First, thank you, Dr. Andrew and the uh, for the opportunity. Uh, Mayor Kevin, and it's also a time we, by the way, for them, and uh, Vice Mayor as well. Chris, thank you so much uh, for your hospitality here and all the other mayors that are here. As um, Dr. Wood mentioned uh, last week, we had a, a beautiful signing ceremony for the naming of, uh, from Inarahan to Inalahan, a village that I grew up in. You know, it was a very uh, proud moment, you know, as a daughter from uh, Inalahan. And uh, Agate, I have plenty of uh, relatives here in Agate and here today to, to also say Dr. Wood, I, I did introduce legislation this evening. Um, when I was talking to Inalahan about the name change, when they approached me, um, I took the opportunity to talk to the other mayors from Alessu, Hoggett, and Umadic, and ask them if they too would like to have their name changed as well. Considering that this particular, uh, these names are already, uh, what, what would you say, Dr. Wood, already, uh, spelled out correctly, already pronounced correctly, the glota on the A is there. So I did introduce it this evening, but with your direction and to ensure that everything is uh, correct, uh, I hope you're there at the public hearing you know, to get the commission's uh, approval before moving it on the session floor. But after that, that's all I'm going to do for now because as Dr. Underwood had mentioned, the other uh, villages may be more difficult you know, in uh, deciding the correct name, you know, the uh, native tongue. But, you know, this is very, very important. Uh, it's about our children and the next generation, you know, being able to, you know, say your native tongue in your village and where you're from. You're passing down a gift to these, uh, to your children and the next generation, keeping our language alive. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to support this endeavor. I, I hope you too as well, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. So just want to. Okay. Thank you. Uh, are we on this one now? All right. Here we go. There we go. Now, now I, I'll sound like I normally sound. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Senator Taitagui. Uh, as, as, as you've outlined, we, we certainly just ask that you allow us to complete this process for the Southern Villages, and uh, which we'll do tonight, and then we'll present it to the Commission next week, and then that way, uh, th that way we're uh, kind of in sync with that. So I, I don't know that there's going to be any much controversy about the, the names. Uh, you know, when I, uh, uh, the only time I ever hear agat in uh, in tomorrow is when they say gi agat. <laughs> so give me give me a guy hagat, hagat, and and hagat. I just just before I call up the mayor, I just want to say this because sometimes people don't kind of understand the connection. Sometimes people are guessing. Is it hagat? Is it uh, like mahaga? Is it you know, Haga as in daughter? Sometimes they say, oh, Haga and Haga, daughter and blood, they're connected. Uh, I don't think so. I think the, the, the connection that people ought to remember is that you have in, uh, in tomorrow a village, and a village is called Somsum. That's, uh, that's the word for a village. A larger Somsum is Haga. That's a bigger Sumsum. So Haga is bigger than a Sumsum. And you want to know what the biggest Sumsum is of all? Hagatnya. That's the connection. Whatever Haga is, Masnya Hagatnya. Hagatnya. So the connection between Haga and Hagatnya is very close linguistically and procedurally. 
And so sometimes people want to guess at things, but they don't really want to kind of analyze what is the origin of that. So Song Sung is a village, Hagat is like a town, and Hagatnya must be really big, you know. It's the uh, mas nya kini hagat, mas hagat kini hagat. Yeah, well, we have to go back to the original. Okay, so I want to ask uh, Mayor Susuiko and uh, Vice Mayor Fairan if they'd like to address the group and uh, tell us what your sentiments are on this issue. Good evening, everyone. I think I'll, I'll sound a little more normal too. I'm glad to see a lot of, uh, you know, our my, our MPCs here. I know that uh, some of Mayor Dell's MPCs here too as well. And it's really important for us to play a part in this um, time in, in our history, like what Seller uh, Fellow was just uh, mentioning. It's not just because we want to change the name, or we want to follow suit with Agadnia, or we want to follow suit with Inamaha it's really giving back to its original, its original name, especially for us down here in our municipality in Hagen. And before, when you do the history of it, we were the, right, it was all Hagen, and then it was Hagen. So as the maps would show, after that, that's when slowly they would start piecing out into different villages. And so that made a lot of sense, and you know, we learn something every day, and I just learned that. 30 seconds ago. <laughs> because everyone's saying the same thing that they were saying. Oh, so what, how did the word Agadibin come in? Or what was Hagat? Or how did it even originate from? You know, and so the closest that we can get was it originated from the black birds before when they used to crow, when they used to say Aga, right? So that's one of the stories too in history. But for us as the leaders of the village to give back to it and to now at this time, um, return to its former name. It's more, I think it's more humbling in, in our hearts, especially us, you know, we're, we're really the, we're young leaders, we're the youngest leaders of this municipality. And at this point in time, what is the right time? And I think now's the time. Sure, we're gonna get some individuals in the municipality that may not want to change it because of by habit, or maybe they just don't want to change it. Or some may say, you know, we're going to have to change uh, our stamps. We're going to have to change our letterheads. We're going to have to change this. But that's all part of the growing process of doing something. The bigger picture is really giving back to our generations. We're not going to be here too much longer, I think. I, I will hopefully, I, I, I have like 40, 50 years left. <laughs> but I want something to continue on. And if it's something that I want to continue on or we want to continue on, it's... Going back, you know, I made a joke about this earlier to all of the ones that they say we're from Giacet. I said, for these guys when we're growing up, what are they going to do now because they tattoo their stomach agate? <laughs> that was the joke I was saying earlier. Really, right? So now you're going to have to go back and if you're truly your heart is within your village and you really fell in love with your village, then you're going to put the eight on. But, you know, we can say what we want, but for me, deep in my heart, as the leader of the municipality, um, it's that time. It's that time to go back and um, go back into our, our culture. You know, we've been fostering things. We are the gateway to the South. We try to perpetuate the culture, the language, the history. And, um, you know, we have the Guma. Uh, Zuang Ti right next to us that we have here, we try our best to bring back, bring back to life that we've lost. And uh, this is one of the biggest ways that we can actually do that. Um, but uh, my vice has more to say, maybe about 10 more minutes of this. So on behalf of uh, our MPC uh, and of course our families and the vice mayor and our staff from Dublin, Zuzumasi, Zach and Michonne for coming down. And uh, Antitello, thank you for leading the way for us, and uh, we hope to see the, the bill come out soon. We're working on our petitions already, and we're working on all of our documents that we need to get going in full support. So thank you. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Thank you. Uh, once again, good evening. Uh, welcome to the uh, Song Soon Hagen. Uh, you know, like Dr. Underwood said, um, 
I, I think um, it, it, and I'll reiterate what my partner said. I think it's time. I think um, the young generation has lost so much of our culture, and um, I think renaming the villages back to the original uh, names is a start. Um, like he said, uh, like Dr. Anwood said, um, it's going to make them curious. It's going to make them want to learn more about your village, about, about the, the where, where the origin is from. And I think by starting that, it, it trickles down to the to the younger age, where they want to be interested and learn more of their language and our, our culture. Um, I think we've been influenced by so many, you know, whether it, whether it be the Spanish or the, um, the U.S. But I think este malilingo todo y lenguaje y cultura necesita ta fenui ta ti ta fenui famagun y famagonta alfa y haleta giren manuet ta tomanuet and you know necesita ta patatsu ta ta fenita mona ta pekura ta pekura esti na 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 you know that's the problem, we just appling them. They put the appling in you because of all the influences. No, 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 no. I know that there's going to be a lot of um, uh, resistance from, from the, or maybe not too much, but it's, it's mainly not because of the name, not because it's going back to the origin, but it's just because of all the paperwork that they have to do. And I think if the commission or uh, Senator Tello can can emphasize more on on whether it's going to be law that everything has to be changed, is there going to be fees? I think that's the biggest issue that that I've heard so far is do they have to pay for this and that to change everything? So it's not more about going back to the original language and, and our culture, but it's more about. Expense. And you know, by all means, that's it, it is a struggle to change everything. I mean, thank God I never got married because I probably have to change my life. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, thank you guys so much, and uh, let's move forward with this. Uh, I know our office, our staff, we support this, and uh, I, I'm, we're hoping that everybody else uh, can come on board with us and the commission and uh, Senator Fellow. Thank you guys for, for your effort. Uh, we appreciate it.
All right. And thank you for having me and your constituents, your supervisor, Underwood. And, uh, tell them, you know, I don't have a problem with my village uh, making me home all that. It's going to come up no matter what. The people you're mad at, sometimes use that language or that word, home all that. So, I, I, I'm going to let you know that I'm not going to have a problem making this home all that. It's a good thing to bring our tomorrow culture back. Our tomorrow culture is not, you know, kids, a lot of kids are mostly in their cell phones. There's nothing. Once you send, send somebody on this, they stay on this. The kids just do that. We need more tomorrow uh, uh, languages so that our people can keep it within the island because it's hurting. You see, we, I watch a lot of TV and I look at it tomorrow. Not as much as before. I want to thank Tello for his bill and supporting this bill. And my Thank you. Down to Mauricio, let's go down to Mareso. But try it tomorrow. Let's go down to Mauricio. It's better than what? Need to know about that Mauricio. Para capta uno. Lo comemos ni tan hablo about that Mauricio. Okay. That that is grammatically correct. Chamorro wise. Yes. So Mareso, as everybody knows, and even the people Mareso knows, they know this that the Mareso was derived from the Mareso. Of the Manyaha brother. So back then, all the Manyaha, they go to Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when I see those, you like to say, Mama Nanda, I'm going to be. Now, that's a lot of the Mama Kotura. What's a few months? I'm not in the show. I'm not saying my family. But, anyways, guys, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of opposition. And the concern about changing your stationery. It's mostly due to post office, and post office don't work by any places, but rather by zip code. So you don't have a problem. So if you're going to argue, there's something I learned. I went to college. I didn't get my degree, but I went there and got college. So if you're going to change the name place, it's not going to affect your name. It's going to still come to you. Let the post office here in Guam sort it out. Where is going to Malaysia? 96916. And GPA is 19.06. Waterworks is 19.05. So it's still going to come to Malaysia either way. But that, I, I, you know, I'd like to join uh, the commission. It's going this way. That is, we're all going in the same direction. Of course. Let's jump in the same direction. So we don't have duplication of effort. Let's combine our efforts and, and move forward together. Because when we move forward together, those that resist, they better have a basis and a foundation for their argument. Because you're not going to argue against one, but you're going to argue against the many. So those that are going to argue against it, either, I don't know, like Mary Karen, I wish I could live another 40 years, but I'm already 60. <laughs> so I hope I can go 40 more years. But thank you, John, uh, John and uh, Mayor. Uh, thank you for the, for the effort.
responsibility as leaders, as Mayor Taylor mentioned, as mayors, we are leaders. And I think one of the things that we see right now is that we see this language, this culture that we currently have slowly dying and dissipating. Eventually, if we don't, we don't act now like the action we're taking today, this culture, this language that we so-called tomorrow will eventually die. In my statement, in, in my uh, testimony of the legislature, I, I, I did say this. If this language is really going to die or someday uh, reach extinction and no longer exist, we can actually stop that by, by at least naming our something our villages the actual Timor name. So in this case, Agatnya would never be, a language would never be lost as a direct result of Agatnya. We're adding that more now to the to the Sumsung of Inalahan. More so moving forward, Agat, Malesu, Maktak, and now with the Glotas and the Talapofu. Obviously, we're in a very, uh, 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 I want to say, strategic position. You know, I, for one, I lost both my parents, so obviously that part of that language dies. The question is, is what about the rest of the other Songsums who still have elders, but we're also at a very critical point in our lives because as Mayor Abada alluded to, a lot of them have already moved toward the cell phone use and what have you. Everything on their cell phone is tied into the English language and nothing tomorrow in any connection. I, so again, you know, uh, Dr. Underwood, I'm uh, sorry, I, I never realized or knew that the e-commission existed. Otherwise, I would have brought this endeavor over to, to the commission. Uh, for us, we were at a vantage point. I wanted to maximize that vantage point by using our our uh, village daughter, in this case, Senator Kelo Kainiwi. We reached out to her. She was very receptive to us. In a very short order, in basically two months time, we were able to turn what many mayors have attempted to do in terms of <laughs> trying to get uh, the conversion of the English to the tomorrow, Inaran to Inalan. So again, the Inalan community, of course, is very receptive and embraced this co uh, concept. And I'm very glad to hear that it seems like there's a positive approach to a lot of the mayors are, are being receptive in this way. So again, you know, uh, all the efforts being done by the office of Senator Tello and your, your uh, agency, uh, Dr. Underwood. We appreciate that. Thank you very much for, again, trying to perpetuate the culture, maintain it. I know I see a lot of young, young, young folks here. I know they're embracing this, but more importantly, I think once you start establishing them up with signs, people will start pronouncing it, and before you know it, they're, they're saying it with a lot of clarity. So thank you very much for the opportunity. <laughs> we have enough issues as it is, but I want to thank you. So, actually, that includes the, the that concludes the formal part of this. I want to ask anyone uh, uh, who's here who wants to make a point, uh, they can come up, uh, introduce yourself, and uh, make your point. Please. 
And he would. Yes, sir. Go around. Somebody asks, uh, does anybody here know how they name San Felipe, San Felipe? Well, way back when I was a little boy and growing up, my dad told me that that area has always been San Felipe. And within our village, we had San Antonio and uh, San Vicente, then Santa Rosa, which made it to a development town. So, <coughs> one slight deal that I would like to mention about the uh, mayor's recommendation. I would like to keep Sumai as one Sumai, and just keep Paradise separate as San Diego. That way, we're not going to confuse the word Sumai from other people. And that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. We're always learning something new. That's, that's a very important. Anyone else want to say something? Please feel free to come up. What is the timeline that your commission is looking at in terms of Hector Slaughter, Tobune, Ilani, Bando, Gili? Is there a timeline? Yeah, six months. Six months. So the, the first three months are pretty easy. So in the district, so the village names are, uh, some are gonna be complicated, but they're easy. It's the following three months when we get into the place names, that's gonna be a little bit hard, you know. I just ran into a young man out there, I was talking to him and he was saying, you know, uh, Mrs. Britannia, that's my mother-in-law, passed away. Mrs. Britannia was my uh, uh, teacher, and of course I know your wife. And I said, oh, well that's good. I said, where do you live? Says R. R. Cruz. <laughs> and I thought, well, what's going to happen to R. R. Cruz as we, we go through this? Is there going to be like a real strong lobby to keep R. R. Cruz? And said, Did R. R. Cruz put that uh, another name out of focus? Those are those are not easy questions, you know. But uh, we have to ask them. We do have to ask them. So that's a, that's a, that's a, that might be a little bit more complicated, but it might be an ongoing process. Maybe we don't take it up now, but we may take it up in a couple of years. Uh, it's the same thing here with Agate. Where's old Agate? Where's new Agate? Why do we have a new Agate? What happened to the old Agate? Uh, where's Vanili? Where's Pagacha? What are, what's, what's the original name for Nimitz Beach? You know? What was, uh, so all of these things are uh, kind of uh, open to the, that possibility. And, that's that's the, 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 the part of this as well. So is there any, yes, go ahead. Will the um, districts be changed as well? The what? The districts, you know, like the, the southern, central, and the northern? No, no, that's not, they, uh, when, when I, I use the word uh, district and uh, municipality and village, they're all kind of interchangeable, but in reality, I think the, uh, the, the appropriate name is not the village Talfofo, it's a district. Because the, and, and it's important to understand this part too. The reason why that is important uh, for the legislature to establish the district names is because there's voters in that district. So you want to know who's in who's, <laughs> who gets to vote for you as mayor and who doesn't get to vote for you as mayor. That's why that, that uh, the term district is important because that's the legal implication of that is connected to elections. The other thing is it's connected to uh, services. So in some places that's not much of an issue, but in other places it is. Like uh, part of legend is really in Manilo, but the, the Manilo part of legend thinks they're in Baragana. And maybe they're asking for, and, and some some of those people continue to register and vote in Baragana, when in actuality the, the boundary might actually cut them out. So that's why that distinction is uh, really uh, critical in some areas, and it's, uh, it's not an easy thing. And I know that the mayor's council uh, with the vice mayors, I think are working on that project, right? On the, on the, on outlining the districts, because some districts are, you know, uh, are really large and it's not clear, like Lati Heights, where's Lati Heights, where's Lati Plantation, who did they go to for services, 
Where did they vote? All of those issues are uh, have legal implications. So in addition to just reviving the, the place names and reviving the names of the villages, there's that issue to contend with as well. So uh, I think the, the appropriate name is district. Okay, anyone else? All right, anyone on Zoom? Did anyone ask a question on Zoom? No? They're all good observers. Well, thank you, Zoom. Nobody asked a question on Zoom. Okay, anything else for the good of the order? Dunklun has two small seats, told us Hamzo. To send a gradient, she's the child of Pena Bele, to Nisha Tato, see Miss Senora Flores, and see Senor Terry. I just made an announcement. If you haven't already, you just kindly ask that you sign a sign sheet over there and we also have some comment sheets if you'd like to fill one out or if you'd like to take some copies from your constituents you can always give them to me at the end of the session or uh, have people um, come to our office and deliver their comment sheets or of course uh, connect with us through our Facebook or website and our email uh, if there's like any other questions. Thank you very much for coming. Okay, so Smashi, you know, just just as a just as a one final reminder, utungan na to this is ay na ani distrito na mangainde na kaplo i mas market and mas sempre komplikado i na ani lugar siya. Ito kaya sempre sa mga diferentes historia dan utungan na dyan yung mandanya siya ito to sempre bulang na historia man manuto. Kolonia ginin na as bear maliso. Controller. Okay, Mom Schroeder, it's done. It's just a great day, Mom Schroeder. Hey, you put them first step. Okay, okay. She does, Mom, she does, I'm too. Thank you.